Hello and welcome. Today we are taking a look at problem 451. Sort characters by frequency. Given a string S, sort it in decreasing order based on the frequency of the characters. The frequency of a character is the number of times it appears in a string. Return the sorted strings. If there are multiple answers, return any of them. And we have some examples. Example 1. TREE3 -E -E and output EERT -E because E appears twice while R and T both appear once. So E must appear be before both R and T, therefore EETR -E is also a valid answer. And then we have some other examples here CCC AAA -A -A, and the output is AAA CCC. <coughs> and then we have AABB -A and BB AA -A is the output. <coughs> Note that uh, capital A and uh, lowercase a are treated as two different characters. Okay, and then we have some constraints. So S consists of both uppercase and lowercase English letters and digits. All right, so how do we approach this problem? When, well, when we see the word frequency, uh, the first thing that comes to my mind is always a map, right? So let's see how we can uh, use a map to count the frequencies and then uh what we can do further on so let's go to the drawing so here we have the example tree -E and eert so tree and eert and we have the frequencies t appears one time r appears one time and e appears two times so here we have a frequency map right and we can use this frequency map to populate a uh, array of buckets So the buckets are going to be populated based on the frequency and we're going to put the string that corresponds to the element. So we're going to iterate through the frequency array, a uh, frequency map, and we're going to go through element R, for example, and we're going to say, oh, R appears once, so we store one and R. And then we go again for T1 and we say, oh, well, T appears once, so we store for one T. So that means we append T to our result. And for uh, E, we have the number two, so we store two as the frequency. And we store double E because we have E two times. So we're just going to store double E. And then we just iterate through the buckets list. until bucket of size minus one and we add in the result the bucket of i right so for each frequency we will add all the strings that we have, but in this case, we will just have these two strings. We're going to have EE -E and RT. So in the end, we will have E, E, R, T. Or since we are using an unordered map from the frequencies, we could populate our packets with one points to TR instead. So we could also have E, E, T, R right so that's how this example would work and that's how we could solve this problem and notice this is an o n uh, problem time complexity and o n space complexity f f as well okay let's go to the code and see how uh, to implement this so just so this is clear we iterate the buckets in reverse order right we iterate from buckets dot size minus one towards one because we are only interested in frequencies greater than zero so one inclusive and then we uh, compute our result uh, all right so let's uh, let's go to the code okay we are back in lit code so first let's create our map that stores the frequency of the characters.
Okay, we have our map. Now let's create the buckets. So each element is going to be the frequency and the max frequency is going to be the size of the string. So that's why we have plus one because we need to have the greatest frequency as the size of the string. Okay. And uh, we can write the ending loop uh, buckets size minus one we don't care about frequency zero buckets of y right we simply append what's in the buckets and we return res okay so for each key value pair in our frequency array we store in buckets of the frequency which is the second element in the pair and this is going to be a string right so we append to the string we append to the string string created by Uh, repeating the character that is in the pair, the first in the pair, we're repeating it, we're repeating this kv pair dot first for kv kv pair dot second times, right? So that's how we're going to do this. So this is a constructor that uh, takes in two parameters, an int and a char, and simply duplicates uh, the char for the number of times you specify in the first parameter which is what we want in this case for example we want ee or if we just have one for r and t we'll have one and r and one and t and that's fine we just add r and t but for ee we add the two is directly here okay so that should be it oh int i Okay, and accepted. Let's see the time complexity. O n and space complexity also O n. Right, because we only use a map <coughs> and a vector, so we use O n space complexity, but we only iterate. We have here three loops. This one, the middle one, where we compute the bucket data and the last one where we add the result to our string or the strings to our result rather all right so i hope you enjoyed this problem uh, i hope it was clear please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and stay tuned for more c++ problems thank you for watching and bye